Hey guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is, where you are. It's a girl, Twin D, and if you never know, now you know. Thank you so, so much for stopping by the camp. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My long-time subscribers, if even from yesterday, big up on yourself, enough, enough. And thank you all for the continuous support. Please continue to hit that like button, guys, and subscribe, of course. All right, show your girls some support, show your girls some love if you're watching these messages and they interest you and of course if they resonate please hit that like button and show your support it's free it's free you're you, you're not paying me to hit the like button you know it's free support support the people who are supporting you who are making sure you get your messages hit the like button thank you very much i really appreciate it now let's jump into your message and let's see what's on these masculine's minds. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. And if you're new here, I do say my prayer at the beginning of every single message that I do. That's so I make sure that I'm protected and covered so I can deliver your messages properly and that your messages are coming from the right place. No misleading, no negative energy involved. Okay. So let's jump in and let's see what's on these divine masculines minds. Please, God of God, what's going on with them? What's on their minds? Oh, Lord, I love it. The Ace of Cups. Oh, Lordy. Oh, an eyelash. Let me make a wish. Okay, hold on. I make a wish. Ah, I, I did it. <laughs> I made a wish. I made a wish. Okay. I made a wish. I'm looking forward to that Ace of Cups. I'm looking forward to that cup of love. Just like what's on their mind. I, I, I want to wish the same thing that, that they are wishing for as well. What else can you tell me that's on their minds, please, Father God? Mm -hmm. No, you're wasting your time and the Empress. So we got different energies here. So you got some divine masculines who are thinking like this connection with you and them. And it's like, it's like, okay, I'm just wasting my time here. Like this is not going to last. It's not going to happen. So those of these divine masculines who are here thinking about their empress, it's like the same energy that's thinking about the ace of cups. So you see changes. So these divine maskings are thinking about making some huge changes here. We got some that are still fighting their feelings. Still refusing to see and acknowledge what their heart is telling them. But their mind is still focused on you anyways. And that's why they're fighting their feelings because they can't believe the way they feel about you. They can't believe this empress truly loves them like this. What else is on their minds please? Temperance. Oh, I love these major arcanas, man. And the hermit. Hmm. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Your masculines are planning something and it's only a matter of time. Because right now their mind is set on you. They are so focused and they are just focused on you. Some of them again, they are withdrawn. And that's because of the way that they are feeling about. My gosh, what in the world? Another eyelash. I want, Do I have any eyelash left? I gotta go check my eyes when I'm done. Okay, another wish. <laughs> well, you got new love coming in. New person. So I got two some things here for you guys. Some of these divine masculines, yes. The reason why they're in this energy of thinking about this cup of love. Oh, thank you very much. That's your confirmation. The reason they're thinking about this cup of love with you here 
It's because of this transformation that they're going through. And they're moving towards you. So they're a new person. They're a new person. And for the other set of divine masculines, it's like this was something new. So this, this is like some of you guys who just started on this journey or you just met this person. It's new. No wonder they, they are thinking like, like um, no, this is not the one or this can't be or I don't believe it or how I'm feeling. I don't understand. But boom, this will lead to marriage in any of the two circumstances that are here. This will lead to marriage. This is a commitment that's coming, that's on the horizon. So even though right now they're refusing what they're feeling, there's only one place it's leading. Five, five, five. Massive changes are happening. And it will lead to marriage. And the magician. So your divine masculines, it's like they have to overcome certain situations here in order to experience this true happiness that they see. Especially the ones who are refusing the love that they're feeling. It's hard when you've only experienced heartache and pain and sadness. When when true love comes your way, it's going to be un unbelievable. Like, like, does this person even truly love me? Like, do they even know who I am? Like, I'm no good. I'm a nobody. I, I, nothing lasts with me. Like, is this person making a mistake? And that's why they're like, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, it's not going to last. I'm just wasting my time and telling you, Divine Feminines, that you are wasting your time. Because what do you want with me? What do you want with me? So you have some divine masculines here who have already passed that stage and they're working on themselves and they're ready to move forward. But you still have some who are who are just starting out. And that's because you have just started out with this person. So they have not yet learned to love themselves enough to accept the love that you have for them. Oh, oh my heart. Somebody called the love doctor for me. <laughs> I told you. Well, it's there. You can see it in the cards. It will definitely lead to marriage. And look what's underneath here, the insecurities. So your divine mask is definitely, yeah. Thank you very much. They definitely have to move forward and move past these insecurities that they are feeling, that they are going through, that they are experiencing, that's stopping them from true love. And underneath that is good news unexpected communication and underneath that is let's start over moving together oh my gosh this is so beautiful this is so beautiful this is so beautiful no wonder this is the end goal no wonder this is the end goal it will lead to marriage so whoever this message is in relation to it's it, it, it's gonna lead to marriage don't don't matter how it start out that's why you need to just give them their space. Let them go think. Don't try to force them to say, I love you. Don't try to, to, to force them to say, let's be together. They're going to figure it out. Some of them already have and the others, they're on their way. They're coming. They're coming. You know what? Let me, let me, I haven't used these, this part of the deck in a very long time. I haven't used this part in a very long time. So let me see um, if I can figure out like what sign this person may be for you. Let me see. All right, Father God, can you tell me what sign this person may be in regards to the ones that are coming in with love? Okay, so there are no sign they weren't born. <laughs> Libras. <laughs> so some of you guys may be dealing with Libras or Taurus energy here for those of you who's um whose person is coming in towards you, whose person is finally realizing that they do need this love in their life and they can't get their mind off of you. And for those guys who are just Coming together and refusing to accept love. Can you give me 
a hint in regards to what sign they may be. Oh my gosh, Gemini. I'm a Gemini. So, <laughs> but I know that's not me because I'm not the one coming in, right? And then you got Pisces. So some of you guys here, you're dealing with Gemini or Pisces energy. And for those of you whose person is directly coming in right now, you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra energy person. Okay? So just cheer up. Doesn't matter how your connection started. But I hope you know if there's any kind of abuse, you just kick that person to the curb, right? I hope you know that. I hope so. But it doesn't matter how your connection started. It's going to lead to commitment. It's going to lead to marriage. They just have to get over the insecurities that they're facing and all the sadness that they've ever endured. And then they'll be able to experience happiness with you. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this has been your message. I love you all. Don't forget to join me later for the purr. Okay, because on this channel, we pray together. We give God thanks for all we are um, we are receiving. And we also go to God and ask God for the things that we are looking forward to. And if you're going to beg, there's no way that you can be begging and you're not giving thanks for what you already have. Or giving thanks for what's coming. So let us show our appreciation. It's a big deal to God. Same as though it's a big deal to me, it's a big deal to everybody. Show your appreciation if even for five minutes out of your whole month. If you even stop by for one time, show your appreciation to God so he can bless you more and more and more. All right. The effort that you're making is also going to bring you blessings into your life. So take care of yourselves out there. Love you all. Let go and let God and I'll see you at the per or at your next message later let go and let god I love you all